So the Jags have a short week as they gear up to face the Tennessee Titans Thursday night at the bank. But this is what everyone is talking about, the exchange between Jalen Ramsey and head coach Doug Marone. And the reports Ramsey wants to be traded after this very public blowup. Joining us now for a special Tuesday edition of Monday Morning Quarterback, uh, News for Jack Sports Analyst Mark Brunell. Mark, this blew up kind of right before the Mark Brunell show last night. We learned about this. Where do you think this goes? Do you really think that Jalen will be traded? You know, the NFL is different. Uh, in, in years past, in decades past, you just always kept your best players. Guys like Antonio Brown and, and uh, um, guys that play at that type of level, they stay with their team. It's different now. Um, now, would players, no matter how good they are, uh, if they want to get somewhere else, many times they find their way out. And I actually expect that uh, Jalen Ramsey will be with a different team. I mean, the ball's rolling a little bit. And I personally believe, listen, if, if you do not want to be playing for the Jaguars, if you do not want to be a part of this organization, then, then go. The Jaguars will move on. It's, it's hard to say that about losing your best defensive mm -hmm. player. But if you don't want to be here. So I want to ask you about the fact that he is our best defensive yes. player or one of our top ones. If we can, we get something for Absolutely. him. Do we benefit from this at all? Oh, we certainly can. And uh, and I imagine even now that See, the Jaguars are, are talking to some teams. To uh, we're talking about two first round two picks. That's how good Jalen is. I mean, Jalen is a Hall of Fame type player. Um, and he really is an amazing athlete. The problem is, as good as he is, um, He's one of the most selfish, self-absorbed players we've had around here in a long time. Jalen really cares about Frank's truck. Jalen, comes to Jalen mind. cares about, um, you know, his contract, and until he gets that contract, he's not going to be happy. Um, this is a team game, and Jalen is one of those players that really only cares about himself. And I'm not just basing that on on Sunday's game. We've seen seen his behavior before, mm -hmm. and it's unfortunate because it comes at a time where this team just does not need a distraction. They play in a couple days, uh, they're 0-2, and this really pulls from what they're trying to accomplish, and that's get their first win of the season. Okay, we've had two players really in the headlines this week. One is Jalen Ramsey, yep. the other one, Gardner Minshew, our new starting quarterback. He was on with you last night right. on the Mark Brunel Show. Let's hear a little of what the new starter has to say. I think the big question on everybody's mind is, are you keeping the mustache? <laughs> Are you going with it? <laughs> You're not getting pressure to shave it or to do anything. You're sticking with it, right? Absolutely. It's here to stay. It, yeah. it actually, I, I don't even call the shots anymore. It calls the shots. Okay, uh, so, so, so the mustache is staying, but is there any chance we can see this? Is there any chance we can see this? Next road trip, maybe? Man, I don't know about the next one, but uh, maybe down the road we'll get we'll get something like that going again. I bet you we can get a teal, you know, something That's like what this. I'm saying. We need some teal and black, yeah. and we'll we be all We would all right. really love to see oh, this, by the way. Like that? Yeah, yeah. That's a good look. Right? So Gardner Minshew has really taken to the city by storm, not just because he's done extremely well for a brand-new rookie. Right. He's just persona really is taken to the fans. It did up in college for him at Washington State, and now it really is here, too. He really is a, uh, he's a great kid, and he has a, uh, a moxie about him that you just don't see in rookie quarterbacks, a confidence, a charisma, a gravitas, whatever you want to call it. He has Doug that. Doug Marone has pointed that out. Yeah. He's a unique guy. I met Gardner at the Combine, and, and I was instantly impressed. Just the way he carried himself and, and uh, his personality, how he engaged with the other players there. Uh, and he takes that onto the field. He steps on the field, regardless of his inexperience or, or the fact that he's a rookie. He still goes out there and competes. Um, he's made some mistakes, some costly mistakes. Uh, he's a rookie quarterback. He's also done some very good things. Yes. I really believe this is a player that's only going to get better as the season progresses. Not without his hiccups, of course, because every rookie quarterback, um, they make mistakes, and they learn from those mistakes. But it's fun to have Gardner Minshew as our quarterback right now. He's exciting to watch. He's got the mustache. He's got the headband. Mm -hmm. He's just a little different than what you normally see, sure. and uh, it's been great. I want to uh, show one more thing from Gardner from last night on the Mark Brunel Show. Garner, what's been your biggest adjustment in the NFL? How is this game different? Are there, were there any surprises along the way now that you're here now, something that kind of caught you off guard, or has this been a pretty easy transition? I don't know. It's definitely not easy, but, uh, you know, it's a lot of work that has to go into it, and uh, you realize it's a job. It's not, you know, it, it's fun, but you're not playing for fun. You're, it's a job, so 
you know, you got to put the time in, and um, it definitely pays off when you do. Real quickly, do you think he's played well so far? Hasn't had really a lot of knocks against him. Right. But when he throws a pick, when something starts to happen, and maybe hopefully we don't lose, but that happens, do you think that sticks with him, that kind of new sheen that he has so I don't far? think that will bother Gardner Minshew. It's going to happen. He's going to have some picks. Everyone does. Uh, how you respond to those picks really defines who you are as a quarterback. He strikes me as, as a young man that will bounce back just fine. He'll learn from it. He'll forget about it. He'll go on and do his best not to make those same mistakes again. Bart Brunel, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for doing this on a it. Tuesday morning, quarterback. Uh, you can watch Bart Brunel's full interview with Gardner Minshew and the rest of the Mark Brunel Show on our website, newsforjacks.com. Don't forget, it is taped live every Monday night at Sneakers. You can also catch it at 7 every Monday night on The CW.